I'm Valerie and today I'll be talking about the background of 100 Plus. So 100 Plus is a brand of isotonic sports string and it was created back in 1983 to commemorate 100 years of Fraser and Yeth Limited in Asia. So FNN Limited is a leading Asia Pacific consumer group with expertise in food and beverage, publishing and printing industries. It is present in 12 countries within Asia Pacific, Europe and the US um, and it has a hit headquarters in Singapore. So, it is the first isotonic beverage to be launched in Malaysia back in 1983. So, and it is a leading brand under the Avenant flagship, and it is the num Malaysia's number one soft drink. So, it dominates the isotonic drink segment in Malaysia with an 88% market share. And according to Khalid Alvi, the managing director of Avenant Beverages and Marketing, um, their 100 plus has three times more loyal customers than any other brands and it has about 24 cans of 100 plus consumed per second. So FN Beverages produces and distributes 100 plus within Malaysia and Asia. So it is the largest soft drink distributor and manufacturer in Malaysia and it has a workforce about, of about 1,400 employees. It has three production plants and 10 warehouse centers. And its biggest production plant is in Sha Long. So I'll go on to talk about the strengths and functions of 100 plus. So one of the main strengths of 100 plus will be its affordability. It costs around two ringgit for a 325 mil can. And it is widely available throughout Malaysia in many supermarket chains, convenience stores and pharmacies. And 100 Plus has five variants, and they're the original, lemon lime, berry, orange, and 100 Plus active, which is the non-carbonated alternative. It is a mildly carbonated beverage, which is thirst quenching and caffeine free. And it is specially formulated to help rehydrate, refresh, and re-energize its consumers, especially those who lead an active lifestyle. It consists of a unique combination of carbohydrates and electrolytes that helps transport nutrients into the body efficiently and provides an instant source of energy. It has also been clinically proven to provide 43% more endurance than water alone by containing the optimum balance of thirst bursting and energy replacing ingredients, which helps consumers achieve peak performance in their daily lives. So, why would 100 plus succeed in Mauritius? Well, Mauritians are becoming more health conscious as there's an increasing rate of diabetes. So, due to these factors, Mauritians start to adopt a more active lifestyle. And 100 plus has a sports and active lifestyle positioning, which corresponds well with the increasingly health conscious culture of Mauritius. Hi, so I'm gonna talk about entry mode. As you can know, many small businesses tend to grow into larger scales over time. So in order to be able to do that, we got to apply entry mode, whereby entry mode means how, uh, how the different methods are used or applicable in an organization to go to a foreign market on a larger scale. So guys, for 100 plus, we decided to use the entry mode known as export. So I'm going to de define to you guys what does export mean. Export is a method whereby a good is produced in a one country to be transported to another country for further sales. Thank you. So now I'm going to explain the reason behind why export method has been used for 100 plus. First of all, as you can know, you're not the manufacturing plant doesn't need to be set up in the foreign country where the drink will be sold. It can be made locally just to be shipped to the next country. So for example, Red Bull used the method of exportation for its energy drink throughout the world. Secondly, they don't have to. It reduces the cost and investment to set up a manufacturing plant in the foreign country for 100 plus. As 100 plus doesn't have to invest much by implementing a manufacturing plant in the foreign country, therefore, there's a reduction in the operational cost as well as 100 plus gain economies of scale. Go. Furthermore, 100 plus will not face the usual downside of the export method, such as high tariff. For example, as per the year 2017, the Mauritian government imposes a 15% taxation 
on the non-alcoholic beverage entering the country, which will significantly not affect the price of a product being sold at the local market. 100 plus will not face the downside of exportation since transportation costs will be lower than expected. For example, as all product goes through the Malaysian hub, this means that the freight charges and the transportation charges will be lower. Same goes to Mauritius because they use their port very strategically in order to ship other products to the western side of the island. As 100 plus is produced in Malaysia and shipped to Mauritius and both countries have strategic ports, therefore the transportation of 100 plus will be significantly low. Okay, I'm going to talk about the market analysis. Um, in this part, we're going to talk about uh, the attractiveness of the Mauritian market for the 100 plus brand. Um, I'm going to talk about four factors, starting with the social cultural factors. Um, Mauritius is an English speaking nation. Uh, this is really attractive for 100 plus because um, it's easy to communicate for in uh, the business space. Um, and besides, it, re it removes uh, every possibility, possible language barrier. Um, the island does not really have an own uh, unique culture, but it has a mix of different cultures. Uh, this started um, after the industri industrialization of the export business in the 1980s. Um, this brought a lot of um, different races into the country, and especially in the uh, business working space, it started to uh, mix the different cultures together. Um, and as the last uh, thing, there are no gender issues in Mauritius. Uh, actually, since a lot of years it started uh, with um, women that became taxi drivers. And nowadays, even the, uh, the president is a woman, as you can see on this picture. Um, then the economic factors. First, one of the best uh, African economies is uh, Mauritius. Um, it's also said to be a springboard for Western investors that want to invest uh, in Asia. As they first start in Mauritius, they can uh, expand and uh, easily reach uh, the Asian border to start their business in there. Next to that, they have an open and flexible regulatory system um, it's really attractive for foreign businesses uh, who don't want any restrictions in the system. Um, and uh, the currency is the Mauritius, uh, Mauritian rupee. Um, as you can see in the next diagram, uh, can you, oh shit. Okay, I'll, I'll just start this part over. Yeah? Okay. That's really strange. <laughs> Okay, so you want me to go back here? So I, so I uh, start here or start with this one? Up to you. Maybe the room. Just talk about the Martian rupee and then we can just move. Okay. <laughs> wow. It was already changing, you're just talking. Yeah, no, I didn't, because I'm not looking there, and of course, it's not there. It's so strange. Okay, it's alright. Okay, I'm starting with the, with the rupee, yeah. Um, and the currency of Mauritius is the Mauritian rupee. Uh, as you can see in the next diagram, um, the Mauritian rupee has been appreciating in the last uh, five to ten years. As you can see in 2017, there was a quite large uh, uh, decrease of the value of the currency, but it's recovering by now and it says it has a good uh, value uh, prospect of the future. Um, then we go to the next part, and that's the political factors of uh, the market analysis. Uh, Mauritius has a, we a British Westminster political system. Uh, that's known as a system which can easily and quickly adapt to new situations. Uh, it's very att attractive um, for a company like 100 plus because um, 
it doesn't take a lot of time to implement new laws which can attract of which are attractive for 400 plus um, this can be possible for new situations uh, where this need to be happening um, then the democracy index uh, uh, Mauritius has a, a good de democracy as it's on the 18th place of this index um, the elections are being held every five years um, next to that um, Mauritian has a, um, a strategy that it's easy, uh, easy to uh, foreign businesses to settle down in the country. Um, it actually wants the foreign businesses to come in the country because their uh, economy is actually based on uh, attracting these businesses. Um, next to that, um, Mauritius has been stable with their politics for a long time. Actually, there are not really uh, a lot of compli complications in the history of Mauritius, uh, according to the politics. Um, and uh, the last factor is the legal factor. Um, this is actually one of the most attractive uh, things of Mauritius is that uh, they have a low corporate tax rate of 5, 15%. Also, their enforcing contracts uh, is really attractive as uh, they have the 34th place in the index. Um, this uh, index is based on the time needed, the cost and the quality of the court system of the country. Um, as I already mentioned earlier, they have a mindset to attract new foreign businesses. So they also have laws that attract uh, businesses like 100 plus to enter the country. Um, and otherwise, with the system, it's not complica complicated to adapt to new situations and uh, make it very uh, comfortable for 100 plus. Um, concluding, as an open country for, in, for foreign businesses, it's really um, attractive. The other factors uh, shown, uh, shown us that um, they are really positive for entering the country for 100 plus. Hi, I'm Chloe. Today I'm gonna talk about the marketing mix which is suitable for Mauritius. Did you guys know how to plan a successful product offering in a new marketplace? In order to plan a successful product offering in a new marketplace, marketers should figure out four of the most important components in marketing mix, which are product, price, place, and promotion. As Hundred Plus plans to expand its product to Mauritius, a suitable marketing mix will be required for the product survival in a foreign market. For the product, which is 100 plus isotonic drinks, it should be standardized to ensure that the taste of the beverage will be the same as other countries that it is sold in. To successfully expand it to Mauritius, the 100 plus beverage should meet the needs, wants, and demand of the people in Mauritius. It is believed that 100 plus will stand out from the crowd in Mauritius because during the summertime, the 100 plus isotonic drinks can act as a medium which provide the function of rehydrating, re-energizing and refreshing to the locals. To increase the attractiveness of the product, the company can introduce the limited product packaging and design based on the various local festivals. For the price of 100 plus, it should be customized as Different countries are different in their own currency. To keep the beverage as competitive as its competitors, the price should be kept as almost the same as its competitors. During some special occasion, bundle pricing strategy can also be introduced by the marketers to raise the brand awareness. Bundle pricing strategy is defined as a comparably lower purchasing price of products when there is an increase in purchase volume. For the placing strategy, it will be standardized as the product should have 
the ease of purchase by its target markets in the marketplace. So, the choices of the product to sell. Let me start again. So, the choices of places to sell the product should include the convenience shop, hypermarkets, and supermarkets. Finally, for the promotion of 100 plus isotonic drinks in Mauritius, the customization will be applied as the promotional strategy will be different to suit the taste and preference of the locals. To raise the product awareness, a campaign can be held in a shopping mall in Mauritius. For example, a test drink event can be held and a bottle of 100 plus isotonic drinks can be attached as a free gift with the condition of like the 100 plus Facebook official page in Mauritius. Next, a sponsorship on sports event are able to raise the product awareness as well, which is by sponsoring the isotonic drinks to the participants in the end of their competition. As a conclusion, we can see here that 100 plus can be shipped to Mauritius for further point of sales. After analyzing all the reasons and all the variants and entry method whereby it's more appropriate for the product to be sold in Mauritius, we came up to the conclusion that the chances of this product to be sold in the Mauritian market are relatively high. On this end, I would like to end the presentation. Thank you very much. You're welcome.